thanks for the blood, but I didn't want all that iron. So one of the negative problems with chronic transfusions is that all that blood comes with a lot of useless iron and all that iron does in your body is store up in different organs and cause some pretty intense problems that can be fatal if not treated. So when you're receiving a transfusion, you need those red blood cells to help you with the sickle cell disease. However, it also comes with a ton of iron. And now iron overload does not happen instantly. It's not like you have one transfusion and instantly you have too much iron. It takes about uh, seven months to a year, depending on how much blood you have to get, to start to really see some of those side effects of iron overload. Initially, the side effects are kind of vague, like fatigue and weight loss and maybe some abdominal pain, leading up to some serious things like diabetes and cirrhosis of the liver, which is a, uh, where your liver tissue starts to turn into scarring and eventually um, the liver doesn't function and it's fatal. So in iron overload, the normal cure when it's not from transfusions, when you have iron overload just as a genetic condition, what they normally do is something called phlebotomy, which is where they drain out some of your blood. Um, however, you can't actually do that in sickle cell disease because you're already anemic to begin with. That's a guarantee with sickle cell. And um, you need all those red blood cells that you can't risk any because uh, you already have those sickle cells that are dying so much faster. So to take out any of your blood would be counterproductive. So what they do now is they have something called chelation therapy, which is a therapy, which is a which is a taking a series of drugs. There's lots of different ones out there. We're not going to go into the different types, but it's taking a drug that counteracts or removes that extra iron. Your body doesn't actually have a way of um, processing or removing extra iron, and you don't need as much as you're getting from that transfusion, so you have to do this chelation therapy. So up until very recently, this was something... Um, called a subcutaneous shot, which is means that you had to give yourself a shot a couple of times a day. However, um, they've now, the more common thing that you now do is you have a, um, a drink that kind of looks like Metamucil, if any of you guys remember that, that tastes pretty bad, but uh, works a lot better and longer and you drink that, and the chelation therapy is in that. On the horizon are things that are even completely less invasive and easier to manage, which is an inhaler that's not on the market yet, but something that has uh, been talked about in trials. However, the downside is that chelation therapy um, does not completely reduce your iron levels, and so you will, have, you, will, you will have a certain level of iron overload um, as long as you're on those chronic transfusions. And in the world of sickle cell, unfortunately, at this point, for most people, once you start the chronic transfusions, there isn't a way to get off of them unless something's changed in your medical history. Meaning if I'm on them for um, because I've had a stroke, that means that I'm going to be receiving lifetime chronic transfusions. Now, barring a cure, which at this point the only cure for sickle cell is a bone marrow transplant, which is rare and dangerous and doesn't always take. Barring that, your need for chronic transfusions once you start at this point tends to be ongoing and um, for the rest of your life. So that chelation therapy to reduce the iron overload um, is vital. And although it doesn't isn't 100% um, effective, it does help reduce the risk of fatality through, in sickle cells, primarily through um, cirrhosis of the liver, although it can build up in other places, such as your spleen or your heart. But um, doing that chelation therapy can help reduce the iron overload and the taxing on your body. Check us out on the web at hopeforscd.org. Post any comments or questions below. And stay tuned, because from this post on, we'll be talking about hope for sickle cell disease. Thanks.